Hi everyone, welcome to Scratch Tutorials. In this tutorial video, I'm going to teach you how to build your first animation project using Scratch. So right now I'm on the login page of the Scratch. Here you need to sign in. Please give your username and the password and then click the login. So this is the first page where you will be logged in. Now, before we start, I have to first create a new project. So click next to your username and go to my stuff. So whatever project you will be creating, that will be get created under your my stuff. Click the new project in order to create a new project. So if I click new project, so right now I'm in my project page and here you can see on the left hand side, I have all the coding blocks available. The first block today we are working with is the motion block and in the screen you can see a character as cat. This is called a sprite. Okay. So here you have the option to choose your own sprite if you click here you have a variety of sprite you can select anything among them let's go back so the first project i want to work with the cat let's get starts with the project so i want the cat to make a movement so first i'm going to drag a block from the left hand side called move 10 steps if i click you can see the cat is able to make a move okay now the problem arises when the cat already reached the boundary which means if i still click the block the cat goes out of the screen so i have to take care of this condition how to do that I have a block here called if on edge then bounce. So which means whenever the cat reach on the boundary, it will bounce in order to make sure that the cat is not going out of my screen. So I'm going to get a block from the control statement. Here I'm having a forever block. And if I just put the moves 10 steps inside the forever blocks and if I click it you can see that the cat is moving continuously and it went out of my screen so in order to avoid that I'm going to use if age then bound statement so now you can see that the cat is moving back and forth based on our code so if you feel like the movement is too fast we have an option in the control block called wait so if you want to make the movement little slower just put a wait statement i'm going to add a wait for 0.2 second so let me just add for 0.2 second and now you can see that the speed of the cat walking back and forth has been reduced I also want to mention that we have used a block called forever. So I'm going to put a comment over here. Forever is a block. It is also called as a loop. Which actually automate the movement I have mentioned inside the forever block. So instead of using forever, you also have the option called repeat. So the difference between repeat and forever is if you want to repeat you can use this block for a finite time okay and if you want to make it a continuous for long period or you never know when to stop so you can use a forever block and also if you want to stop this movement you can click the red button over here so if i click the red button you can see the cat has stopped moving. So next I want to show, introduce some new block here, which is 
turning 15 degree in the clockwise direction and turning 15 degree in the anti-clockwise direction. So right now the cat is moving back and forth along the straight line. If you want to move around the screen, so I can use either of this block. So either you can use clockwise movement or anti-clockwise movement. And if I click here, so now you can see that the cat is moving in a different angle and so it is moving around the screen in different position. So that was all about the cat's project and if you want to save the project you can give a name here. I'm writing it as cat's walk and you can go to the file and you have the option to save now. So save the project and if you go to the project page, this is the project page looks like. So here you can give the instruction how to start the project. Okay. And also if you now go to my stuff, you can see that cat's work project has been saved. So that was all about the first project for the cat's work. See you in the next video for a different project. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. If you like these videos, please do subscribe to our channel and also share your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you.